Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome to our Project Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Sleepy Weepy. So we'll go through this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that this is our own concept character, and this is not definitive of if they will be in Project Playtime going forward. And as for what's going to happen in Project Playtime going forward, we don't know, nor does anyone know, this is just a fun story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to give this video a like as it does get a lot more eyes on our content and gets a lot more people watching these awesome character concepts. Alrighty everyone, well, let's take a look at the character concept of Sleepy Weepy. So, Project Playtime has been out for a little while now. The game currently has three enemy characters, Huggy, Mummy, and Boxy. The amount of different skins and customization is pretty awesome as well. But one thing that's been on my mind is who will be the next character they will add. Boxy Boo is a newly introduced character specifically for Project Playtime. And if Mob Games can introduce an entirely new character for Project Playtime, then this makes me think, what's next? Well, a new original character that I think would be interesting to see would be Sleepy Weepy. Sleepy Weepy would be similar in shape to Huggy Wuggy, but would be a totally different character altogether. So let's get into the backstory of the original Sleepy Weepy toy. So hence their name, they were a soft and cuddly toy that was designed for children to have with them when they went to sleep. Sleepy Weepy was designed to help children who couldn't sleep. The toy would have a pull string on its back that when pulled would play a lullaby. Along with the relaxing lullaby, Sleepy Weepy was also scented as well. It was a mixture of lavender and of a calming sense. This was part of the reason why Sleepy Weepy was such a successful toy and worked so well as a sleep aid for children. Sometimes it worked a little too well. On the production line when manufacturing the Sleepy Weepy dolls, multiple workers would doze off and even fall asleep on the spot. This led to many of the workers needing to wear ventilator masks while working. Not only did they have to combat Sleepy Weepy's sleep-inducing scent, but they also wear earplugs for the lullaby as well. But this still couldn't help against Sleepy Weepy's sleepy-inducing power. When it came time to infusing one of the orphan souls with a Sleepy Weepy doll, just like the rest of the characters, this didn't go to plan. Not only did this twisted and crazed toy creature put everyone to sleep, but he also devoured anyone who couldn't wake up in time to run away. So now let's get into the location where Sleepy Weepy would appear in Project Playtime. So this new location would have been the sleeping quarters for the orphans that lived at Playtime Co. Players would be roaming around all the empty bunk beds and sleeping areas of this location. There could be multiple locations including resting areas, or even nighttime themed areas with plenty of puzzles to tire out the orphans to make them sleepy. Mainly this location would be centered around nighttime, dreaming and going to sleep. This would be made evident by all the many posters surrounding this location that would promote having a good night's sleep. So whilst the players are frantically making their way through this area, Sleepy Weepy would be waiting in the shadows. Some of the abilities that Sleepy Weepy could have would be pretty interesting. One of his key abilities would be making the players doze off and fall asleep. So whilst completing the various toy part puzzles around this area, the players would need to keep an ear out for Sleepy Weepy's lullaby in the distance. When he gets close, the players would start to doze off and fall asleep. The players would have to quickly button mash to wake themselves up again. But if they take too long, this would be a perfect opportunity for Sleepy Weepy to attack. 
In order for the players to avoid this sleep-inducing sound altogether, they would need to move as soon as they hear the lullaby. But when it comes to playing a Sleepy Weepy, there would be some drawbacks and positives to playing as this toy character. So when it comes to chasing down the players, Sleepy wouldn't be the fastest enemy character. But he does have a great ability with his sleep inducing power. So when playing as Sleepy, there would be a lullaby bar. Sleepy Weepy has to try their best not to let this bar go all the way to the end. Every time they stop their lullaby, the bar would drop down again. But if they play the lullaby for too long, then the bar would reach its full level. When this happens, Sleepy Weepy himself would doze off to sleep. This would put the enemy character at a disadvantage, but it would also be beneficial as well. So after their moment of sleep and no movement, Sleepy Weepy would eventually wake back up again, and they would be incredibly angry. This would increase their movement and attack speed quite significantly, but he wouldn't be able to use his sleepy lullaby for the rest of the match. So the enemy player has to decide between slightly slow movement and the ability to stop the players in their tracks, or being the quickest character out of all the enemies but losing the power to stop the players. The players can also get a lot done while Sleepy Weepy is sleeping, so that can affect Sleepy negatively as well. When the players have collected all the toy parts, it's time to quickly make it back to the train. When this sequence happens, Sleepy Weepy will automatically transform to his enraged state to become faster. This still includes losing his sleep ability so he can't stop any of the players on their way to the train. Once the players have boarded the train, they have successfully beaten Sleepy Weepy and won this round. So I think that Sleepy Weepy would be an awesome character to add to Project Playtime. I think their gameplay style would shake things up and definitely keep the players on their toes. As for customization, there could be plenty of awesome skins that they could give to Sleepy Weepy. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of different skins you think they will give Sleepy Weepy. But for the future of Project Playtime and its enemy characters, it's a mystery to know what they'll add next. A character like Sleepy Weepy would be awesome to see, but in the end we'll have to wait and see what new character Mob Games adds next. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Sleepy Weepy, and what other characters you'd like to see in Project Playtime going forward. Alrighty everyone, well to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.